Delano was founded on July 14, 1869, as a railroad town. Not because the railroad passed through the town but because the railroad coming south from San Francisco terminated at Delano. The name was officially given by the Southern Pacific Railroad in honor of Columbus Delano, at the time the Secretary of the Interior, 1870 to 1875, for the United States. The first post office opened in 1874. Delano incorporated in 1913. The town started with a boom. With Delano as the southern terminus of the railroad, it became the headquarters for hundreds of workmen who were building the railroad into town, and who eventually built the railroad into Bakersfield the following year. Meanwhile, the merchandise that formerly was trucked south from Visalia to Bakersfield and then to Walker Pass, or perhaps Tejon Pass, en route to Los Angeles, now coming via freight from the south, east and west, was likewise trucked in by ox or mule team. Great loads of bullion were delivered here from the mines in the mountains. Delano became the northern terminus for the passenger stages that ran south to Bakersfield and Los Angeles. The fare from Bakersfield to Delano was $7. Delano was a major hub of farm worker organization efforts and Chicano political movements. Filipino immigrants Philip Vera Cruz and Larry Dulé Itleon were instrumental in shaping the direction of farm worker movement in the 1950s. On September 8, 1965, Larry Itliang and other Filipino leaders led the predominantly Filipino Agricultural Workers Organizing Committee AWOC, in a walk-off from Table Grape Farms, now known as the Delano Grape Strike. The strikers' goal was to improve farm workers' wages and working conditions. The National Farm Workers Association NFWA, a largely Hispanic union led by Cesar Chavez, joined the strike within a week. During the strike, the two groups joined forces and formed the United Farm Workers of America UFW. By 1970, the UFW won a contract with major grape growers across California. 